Consider a pair of flasks, one containing gas molecules, the other completely empty. If the flasks are connected at their mouths, gas in the filled flask will move spontaneously to the empty flask by its molecular motions. Eventually, the distribution of molecules will be even throughout the flasks. The final state in which the matter is more dispersed is much more probable than the initial undispersed state. Stored chemical potential energy is released from reactant molecules in an exothermic reaction. This energy spreads out or disperses over the product molecules and the molecules in the surroundings. Molecular motions are much more random in the gas state than in either the liquid or solid states. Motion in a liquid is more random than that of a solid. Gases tend to have the highest entropies, while solids have the lowest. Heptane at 1500 Kelvin has significantly greater molecular motion than it does at 200 Kelvin. The substance has greater entropy at 1500 Kelvin than at 200 Kelvin. In general, the more complex a molecule, the greater its entropy. We can see this trend by comparing three alkane molecules. The amount of motion for each molecule translates into entropy. The more motion overall, the greater the entropy. The entropy of a solid depends on the strength of the forces holding it together. The weaker the attractive forces, the greater the motion of the ions in the crystal lattice, and the greater the entropy. When potassium permanganate dissolves, its crystal lattice is broken apart, leading to an increase in disorder, and therefore an increase in entropy. In the combustion of hydrogen and oxygen, the entropy of the atoms in the sample, or system, decreases. This decrease occurs in concert with the transfer of thermal energy to the surroundings, leading to an increase in the entropy of the surroundings. The entropy increase for the surroundings is greater than the decrease for the sample, so the net change in entropy is upward. When cooled, Gaseous NO2 forms gaseous N2O4. The entropy of the system has declined because two molecules have been converted to one. We say this reaction is enthalpy-driven. When we dissolve ammonium nitrate in water, the dissolution is an endothermic process. The temperature of the solution decreases over the course of the reaction. The reaction, though not favored energetically, is favored by entropy. It is said to be entropy-driven. As the ammonium nitrate dissolves, the entropy of the system increases. At the same time, the surroundings lose energy and experience a decrease in entropy. The increase in system entropy, however, is greater than the decrease in the surroundings entropy. Thus, the total entropy the sum of the entropy changes in the system and surroundings, increases, as demanded by the second law of thermodynamics. Gaseous NO2 converts to N2O4 under certain conditions. When the system is at a low temperature, equilibrium for the reaction is reached after a high percentage of the reactants have converted to product. The difference in energy between delta G0 and the free energy at the equilibrium point is relatively slight. The equilibrium constant is high. When the system is at a high temperature, gaseous NO2 converts to N2O4 to a smaller extent. Equilibrium for the reaction is reached after only a small percentage of reactants have converted to product. Because delta G is positive, the equilibrium constant is low.